founding of St. Joseph's Parish came during a time of great hardship for believers. The German Democratic Land Association of Karlstadt, so-called free thinkers, prohibited houses of worship. Rocks were thrown at both Catholics and Salvation Army workers. But Father John J. Schandl persevered, and in 1872, in the outskirts of Karlstadt, on land donated by Joseph Moulter and costing $11,000, the first St. Joseph Church was built. The parish grew and endured. In 1887, parishioners oversaw the establishment of St. Joseph's School in the church basement. Two years later, East Rutherford became incorporated and Catholics were now enjoying religious freedom throughout all of the old Karlstadt. Financially, St. Joe's struggled for the remainder of the 19th and early 20th century, but continued to grow with the generosity and dedication of the religious and laity. After 28 years as pastor, Father Mondorf, with his health failing, requested the Franciscan order to accept the care of the parish. In 1913, Father John Stark, OFM, was appointed. Three years later, the parishioners, at a cost of $40,000, erected the brick school building, which stood until 1970 on the corner of Hackensack Street and Hoboken Road. The next several years saw a building boom for the parish, including the new convent and friary. Despite the hardships of the Great Depression, the old church and the rectory were demolished to make way for the new church. The cornerstone of the beautiful Italian Romanesque church we know today was set and blessed on June 29, 1930. The following decades of the 20th century saw war, political unrest, and social upheaval. And yet, St. Joseph's continued, undaunted in its mission to help the poor and serve the children of God in the communities of Karlstadt, East Rutherford, and beyond. Father Michael Judge. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He yeah. was, uh, he, I remember him being at my house when I was very little and yeah. helping us out and yeah. being with the fire department. Yeah. I hey. worked with him in New York City. Uh, oh, yeah. I still got your other thing. And I uh, miss him very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way back, uh, three Father Michaels, Father Michael Tyson, Father Michael Duffy, Father Michael Judge. And uh, it was many, many good times in the 70s. A couple of pictures of Father Michael Judge here. Yeah. He Great. was always busy. On Easter, he used to come down with the pail of water and he used to throw it all at us. And then there was the fire around Holy Week and we, he couldn't put the fire out. When I first moved into the area over 40 years ago, um, I saw the friars walking up and down the street and it, they would say hello to you and just greet all the neighbors. I came to St. Joe's which was a friendly, friendly church. And I Father Chris Keenan, okay. Father Justin, Father Chris, this is Brother Doug, Father Donnan, Father Michael Duffy, and Father Michael Judge. We would go down the shore once or twice during the summer, and he would always say to us, don't call me Father, they'll think you were all my kids. <laughs> oh. We had uh, did Tony and, uh, Peter and Tony's wedding. Uh, the grandma who uh, had too much to drink is dancing with him and trying to touch uh, him in the back. And he takes his, uh, his uh, belt, what do you call it, the roof? Yeah. And he's hitting her with it. So funny. Father Joe Jurasic, I think he served in the U.S. Army. And he also was like an excellent cook. He actually cooked at the White House. I remember, I think it was one of Father Joe's first homilies. There was a, um, there was a glass on the, uh, on the pulpit about half full. During the homily, he took a long drink and then looked out at the congregation and said, oh, it's only water. <laughs> and I knew then he, he was going to be a different kind of pastor. Yeah. He's kind of a cerebral guy. Father Doss. <laughs> he loved people. Well, yeah, he loved people and he kept you awake. Did you guys have the time of your life? <laughs> Trying to. This is from the 100th year anniversary. anniversary. So you're a 50 year veteran here. Kinda. 
<laughs> had a program called We Me the Sunshine, and it was really great. We've, 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 we've me the sunshine. Ronald McDonald came out of the helicopter. I'm not going to say who it was, because <laughs> if but he it, finds out, he will be embarrassed. <laughs> this is Father Michael Duffy, <laughs> Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, I practically lived in this place. I've seen the good, the bad, and <laughs> the beyond. I'll leave it there at that. <laughs> but it's been, uh, you know, it's been 50 good years, I guess I could say. Yeah, yeah, I went to, high, I went to school with uh, the girl who played piano. Diana? Diana uh, Tremitosi. Tell her I said hello. We always used to do a beautiful May crowning in front of the old school with all the school kids. Otherwise, if you drank water on your way in, you wouldn't be able to make those other drinks. My class was the first class that we could drink water. Mr. Fred Steen was our choir director. Well, it was Christmas, and we all wanted to get her something special. And at that time, they wore the long black habits. They said, you so we all chipped in our dimes in our quarters and we bought her a bright red slip with lace. <laughs> Many memories that are great, but most of them have come from the rosary. So it made me stay and now I've been with the rosary for 30 years and yeah, we'll remain here. This is our home. I'd just like to tell everybody how much St. Joe's has always meant to me. I've been here since I was born in 1960, and uh, I, I, you know, I'm still here. And now I'm involved very much in the church, and it's a great church, and it's a great place. My fond recollections go back to my days of the friars being here. I mean, I was baptized here, received all my sacraments here, was married here. My kids were all baptized here, received their sacraments here. My kids went to St. Joe's. The school was my life. I was the principal there for years. So those are my memories. St. Joe's is home. I knew from the moment that I walked in here that it was a blessing. Not just because it's a church, but because it's a very special community. And the choir reinforces it all the time, all the wonderful community and congregation. So I'm so grateful to be part of this loving community. I grew up here. I'm still growing up here. finally came back to our real church and like improvising to go like to different spaces and then we finally came back to the church. I like the um the church the church made all these like rooms for like the classes. Yeah. To like like teach better. I remember really liking the my uh, first like confession. Mm -hmm. I like when um I got my communion because I felt more connected with the church. I like my first communion and how we had to do all the confessions. On the cross, as we see in the altar of Jesus on the cross. Wait, what's in December? Oh. Everybody. Christmas. Christmas. Okay. He helps God. He takes care of people and he likes helps the trees and animals. He made people a lot of people. God made our earth and without our earth we would have nothing to eat. God made 
get cards. I like coming to church because it teaches us about God, so so we know about Him and we don't do bad stuff. I've been going here ever since I was born. I, I come here because I love to learn about Jesus. I come here like to learn about like God and God and Jesus. I wish I could have the bread, but I'm not old enough. Because we get to learn about God and, the, and we get to light those candles before. I like St. Joe's because he believes in us. Did you like your first communion? Mm -hmm. okay. I was here as a baby and like, uh -huh. you know, like when they put me in that like thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
can you say happy sesquicentennial St. Joe's? Happy what? Oh, feliz aniversario 150. Happy sesquicentennial St. Joe's. Happy ses sesquicent... I can't say. Happy sesquicentennial St. Joe's. Happy sesquicentennial I don't think I can. Happy sesquicentennial. What? Happy sesquicentennial. Oh my gosh. We're not drunk, we promise. Happy sesquicentennial, St. Joseph's. One more time. Can I do it again? Yeah. Actually. Okay. <laughs> Happy sesquicentennial. Hey, what? Happy, Happy sesquicentennial day. St. Joseph's. Happy sesquicentennial of St. Joseph's. Happy. What do you, how do you say it? Happy, Happy whatever she said. That's it. <laughs> Happy Sesquicentennial, St. Joe's. Sesquicentennial, Happy St. Joe's. Happy 150th. Happy anniversary, St. Joseph's. Happy 150th. <laughs> Happy Sesquicentennial. Happy Sesquicentennial, St. Joe's. Oh, wow. <laughs> Happy Sesqu Sesquicentennial. Dear brothers and sisters of St. Joseph Church, I miss you all. I'm praying for you and I hope you are doing the same. I wish you a wonderful, happy sesquicentennial anniversary. God bless you and enjoy.